RFS. What does RFS mean? I will let you know. It's a hint. Reach for reach for the sky. Uh, really? no. it looks like it. Where is that from? Woodbury. <laughs> Woodbury. And that's Woody, not Woodbury. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 We're gonna talk about a. This is important for your Kahoot. Okay, so write that sentence. And go like this. One, two, three. Okay, okay. I need you guys to focus. Guys, I don't want to have to do that. Just relax, just write, and then it'll be time for recess. So sentence. Guys, you guys focus. Okay. A sentence has three parts to it. Part number one is beginning, middle, and Subject. Subject. What's a subject when I tell you? My subject of my sentence, what does that mean? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Did you have it? Yeah, right? To make it even easier. Right? Thank you. Who or what I am talking about? Who or what I am talking about? Thank you for the ones that are writing this down. Who or what? Yep, number one. That should be number one. Kareem, you should be writing these. Thank you very much. If I give you the sentence, come up here. If I give you the sentence, Kung Fu Panda Karate Chop. Mantis. Who is my subject? Who who am I talking about? Yeah, Kung Fu Panda, right? Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I forgot. I love that movie. But right? Kung Fu Panda Karate Chop. Anybody, right? Kung Fu Panda is my subject. Number two. Oh wait, thank you. Number two is Predicate. To make a complete sentence, you have to have a predicate. Predicate. So, who knows what my predicate is? What does a predicate mean? A predicate, I don't know what a predicate is. Think about it. <laughs> Viviana. Yes, thank you. A verb, right? What is going on in my sentence? My predicate, it has to have a predicate. It has to have a verb. For example, the same sentence we just talked about. Write that down, by the way. Kung Fu Panda, Karate Chop. Right, that's what I right? wanted. Karate chop anybody, right? It doesn't matter. Fill in the blank. Karate chop Squidward. What is going on in the sentence? What's my predicate? Karate chop. Good. Yeah. A karate chop. A karate chop. So it has to have a subject, a predicate, a verb, something going on. And my last thing. For it to be a complete sentence, it has to be a complete sentence. thought. Yeah, sentence. complete thought. So it has to be independent. It has to make sense. It has to make sense by itself, right? For example, and we'll get into this. This will be our next step. Actually, write that down first. Mm -hmm. 
make sure you guys write that down. It's important for your Kahoot game of anything. You're trying to make everybody be first? I just want everybody to be prepared. Because we're doing top five. Top five? Top five will win. Okay, I'm trying to keep my first place. Okay. We're gonna talk about now fragments. And that just means a fragment is when you're missing either the subject or the predicate. So put missing subject. Yeah, so just do a little squiggly. Missing subject or predicate. Yeah, you write that. Sorry, just so you guys can do it and write it down. Missing subject or predicate. So that's where fragments come into place and we don't want to write in fragments. You guys will see why right now. Subject or predicate when it's missing. You guys will see right now why it doesn't make sense. Fragments. Okay. Eyes up here really quick. This is what makes a complete sentence. Pretend our complete sentence is a big red heart. Even though I'm using green, right? You have to have a subject and a predicate, right? But a fragment is when you're missing a subject or a predicate. Subject, predicate. If you're missing one of them, right? Can it have a complete sentence? Right? It's just a. They broke up. Broken. No, no. They broke up. Right? Yeah. So that sentence is depressed, right? Now it's depressed. Now it can't work by itself. It doesn't want to go to school. It doesn't want to do anything, right? So, put that down. Thank you. So, we have to have both to make a complete heart. If not, it's a broken heart. If we don't have a subject and a predicate, we have a broken sentence. It's no good. No bueno. So, for example, if I'm missing my predicate, I write the, don't write it down. The white bunny. Uh, my sister has a black one with white spots on it. Read that sentence. The or white bunny. Read that phrase right there. The white bunny. Does yeah. it make sense? No. Describe the white bunny. Quiet. The white bunny rat. Yeah, say that, please. So, what am I missing? Am I missing the subject or the predicate? The predicate. The predicate. Right? Because I have the subject. Good, Sarah. Ish. Thank you. The white bunny. Does that make sense? What's going on with the white bunny? If you're reading that and Mr. Portillo writes that down, you guys are going to be like, what does that mean? Or what's going on? What about the white bunny? Yeah. What's going on with the white bunny? So, what can I add to make that a complete sentence? I want to get Yes, Jaden. Yes, right? Or let's make it even easier. Well, give me a verb. Give me a verb I can use. Any verb. Was running. The playful. Was running. The white bunny. No, the white bunny was sleeping. Was running. The white bunny ran. That's it. Is it a complete sentence now? Do I have a subject? Yes. Do I have a verb? Yeah. Yes. Is it a complete thought? Is it a complete sentence? Yeah. Yep. Now I have a sentence. Now, let me give you one more example. You need a phrase. You did add the phrase. Yeah, I did. I did. Add a short hands. That means you were tiny dance. My new sentence. Job. That is my job. Job. What job? Raise your hand. I'm going to do a show of hands. 
Am I missing my subject or predicate? Who thinks I'm missing my subject for this? Who thinks I'm missing my subject? Who thinks I'm missing my predicate or my verb? What is jogged? Is that a subject or a verb? Verb. Right? Jogging is something you do. So I have my predicate. So what am I missing? So who could we be talking about? Camila? Little Billy was jogging. Little? Why do you always have to call Billy? I don't know. Little, little, little Billy. Little Billy. Little Billy jogged. Do I have a complete sentence now? Good. Okay. Little Billy jogged. We will stop it right there. We will stop it right there. And we'll do one more thing.